Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. As you see by the title below, this is on episode 6 of Kiss Him Not Me. And honestly, this episode was pretty funny. I actually really enjoyed it. It's like a full on reverse shipping war that happened in this one. And I guess I just kind of really enjoyed it because, you know, if you watched anime, actually, if you just watched any like show or read a book, there's always a bunch of people, you know, there's a pairing that you like over another pairing. And obviously, that's where shipping comes in. But of course, for this one in particular, it's reverse shipping, pretty much to explain it, that um, also you think differently on which character, which person is, you know, the pretty much the pitcher and the other one's the catcher. And also that's where we get into the battle of this one with Shima versus, of course, Kai. And it was interesting to see this kind of episode considering Shima's always been in the good graces of you know Kai and they, they have never really fought and everything it always seems like Shima is ahead of all of them but this one they have their first encounter with like a problem with each other and it's just funny overall to see the interactions between them and then the reactions of the guys because the guys have no idea what is going on in this one they're literally like what the hell you know though I may add at the beginning part I love that part when Mutsumi did the the head fever kind of thing oh you don't have a fever I was like full on like that's my shipping right there. I ship them. They're gonna. I say Mutsumi Senpai is the best, obviously. But of course, after that, they start talking about there's this new anime they watched. He saw, and um, as usual, they're going crazy over it, over it. They love this one character, Kane, and then of course that's where it comes down to obviously, you know, Shima thinking it's Akane X Lord, while of course you know Kai thinks it's Lord X Akane they have a huge like like it's like what did you say can't you tell it's this and they're like no the hello it's actually it's this it's official this is how it is and it's just so funny to see the battling between them because like I could totally see this kind of stuff happening between two people depending on their shipping kind of pairings you already see people you know kind of fight each other over their shippings when it's just a different pairings but when it comes to like this with reverse um, shipping war kind of thing it was just funny and interesting to watch overall especially considering the guys had no clue what it is and of course they do kind of get a little you know like I said they describe it by um, um, Kai's friend pretty much explain it to Igarashi and Nana through using their pairing which is pretty funny honestly and they're just like uh oh okay um, but yeah pretty much it was pretty interesting this episode considering for me at least that all the guys actually wanted to help Sh you know Shima and um, Kai get back together as friends that was kind of weird especially with Nana I would expect him to be like ha 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 we can get her out of the you know the running for Kai who cares about that and Igarashi actually going full on trying to help her even saying you know at one point like you know whatever if you want to be like that less person to have to fight over you know the rivalry kind of thing that's one thing with them is that they're all friends they're all friends we don't have like a toxic kind of rivalry happening in this anime they're obviously shown to be all friends and they may have their differences they may argue a lot of times but obviously you see in this one especially with Shima like I consider her being like on the forefront of this you know for Kai's heart and everything besides obviously Mutsumi but so it's pretty interesting to see that you know they would all try and help her especially Igarashi doing like a whole bunch of things though he did say you owe me one when he told her where she is so we may see I don't know that may just be saying that because you're like right, whatever you owe me this you know but it, we may see something along the lines where he ends up like you know you owe me for doing this you gotta help me now we may see that in the upcoming episodes I can definitely see that happening but pretty much it was just funny to see like the guys trying to get them back together they go to a restaurant to start talking like oh Dude, we started watching the anime. It was like, it was super cool, it was super cool. And then, of course, Shinomiya is an idiot and full on says, Yeah, I could totally see the princess ending up with the, the lord. And they're like, What? That's not it. And they all get mad. I'm like, Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know, Nana just like, You stupid, is your mouth broken? And then, like, even saying, Oh, yeah, I looked up, looked it online. They're the best, um, this is the highest pairing rating right now. And they're like, Oh, you mean, and they say their, their versions of the pairing. And of course, boom, that's where the fight goes in. And another thing is obviously that happened in this one is the fan fiction battle. And honestly, I love, you know, reading fan fiction. So it was pretty interesting to see like, oh, I could definitely see, you know, how you would get your shipping pairing war kind of thing over. It would be through a fan fiction, though I don't really know how 
like it's just describing whose fan fiction is better it's not really saying i guess the way they wrote it is to make it you know who's in charge in the relationship kind of thing so maybe that's how they did it um but it, it was already at a disadvantage considering shima is like a well-known writer already kind of thing so I honestly was like, what? I don't know about this guy, but it was just overall funny to see them just go super crazy, like try to stay up all night, trying to figure out, you know, if their writing is good enough, if they can do this and everything. And it all comes down to who wins, to which, of course, it ends up being Shima, obviously. And Kai just starts crying out. And I swear, some of these scenes when you see Kai, Kai's emotions, like her crying and everything, I was like, oh, poor Kai. She just runs off and everything. And I love Igadashi saying, oh, are you happy? Are you happy because of this now? You feel, you know, better that you your justice has won and everything? I thought you liked beautiful things. Is Do you like seeing, you know, Kai cry like that? The girl you like cry? Full on, like, damn, Igadashi, you ain't pulling any punches, you know? But, of course, we get to see a little bit of Shima's past and everything. It was pretty interesting to see how, you know, how she became who she is, really. And e including the whole thing with, like, flying like body slam girl or something that she called um kai before but she was actually in love with kai she fell for kai even before she became skinny that's another thing that i see that she shima and you know mutsumi is at the top for me for her heart though igarashi is in the running as well considering you know he said he fell in love with her bec not because you know after when she became fat he was okay with that you know obviously nana and shinomi are still considered for me to be at the bottom they their personalities and the way they act and the way they, you know, they like Kai is obviously still kind of superficial for me. I don't know if they're going to change that later on in the episodes, but yeah, that was pretty much the episode. The ending, of course, you know, Shima pretty much making up with Kai and it was all nice and good and all happy ending for this episode. But yeah, overall, I love this, you know, reverse shipping war battle kind of thing. This fan fiction battle thing. It was pretty enjoyable. Lots of funny moments for this one because like I said, the last episode, the first half, it was a hit or miss. It was okay, but it wasn't, like, super funny. But I actually really enjoyed this episode and found it really funny that they put this in. I can't wait to see what they're going to change up and put in the next one. This one was definitely a more focused on Shima and, you know, Kai together. So I wonder if they're going to try any of the other guys. We need more Mutsumi. That's what I say. We need more Mutsumi. So please give us that, you know. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Until next time, see ya.